many ages ago, long before mankind existed, did we rule the world. A world very different from the one that exists today. We built cities out of rock and stone, buildings that reached to the skies and to the deepest of oceans. Our kin were not advanced as humans today, but we didn't need to be, because we had might and magic in our hands. The world was ours to toy with, it was all in our grasp, until a day it wasn't. Through the veil that separated the worlds, did death come in form of a molten rock and fire, a purge that threatened all of this world. Many of us would gather together and pool our magic into one. They escaped this world before it was destroyed. As they fell into an endless slumber, did they become the moon watching over us all. The rest of us that stayed had no will to leave what had been our home for millions of years. Our cities fell and became mountains. Our bodies crumbled to be the earth for a new people that would eventually come long time after our own passing. We accepted our fate and death came to many of us, but not all of us. Some did survive the purge from another world, and they saw through the veil, through the ash and fire, the nightmares that we can't even fathom, the chromatic horrors that sought to consume this world as many others before. The greatest shamans that still lived would use the power of the newly formed moon to repair the veil. As long as our kin rest within the moon, will the veil hold together. Not many of us were left, and a few of us would live on and die as time passed. Our lives that could last eons did only last centuries now because of the magic used to repair the veil. A price we were willing to pay and would gladly pay again, as we could live on in this world hidden from your sight. Your kin most commonly call us trolls, and you might even have seen some of us. We try not to interfere with the world you live in, and we wish just to be by ourselves, protecting this world we hold there. The stone and earth sings for us a melody of joy, but it have started to cry in pain caused by your kin, with the influence of the chromatic horrors that still seek to consume this very world. We are not many, but we will fight to protect this world as we always done. One of those guardians is a young one named... In your human tongue would be called Lano. They have taken liking to humanity, watching over you for centuries. They, like all of us, will fight the chromatic horrors, with or without humanity. Because we love this world.